the News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, pretty much all morning long, we've been seeing the sunshine. You can see that here as we look live from our Harrisburg SkyCam. Sun reaching the ground here along the frozen Susquehanna River. But notice just along the hazy horizon here, we have some clouds that are starting to move back into the region from the west. That is our next storm system approaching. And it's a weak one. It's one of those weak, moisture starved clipper systems. But it will give us the chance for some snow showers into tomorrow. Currently in Harrisburg, we're at 32 degrees. It feels a little cooler than that when you factor in that westerly wind at around eight miles per hour. Our other current temperatures are generally sitting in the low to mid 30s as you go from the turnpike down to the south, even up around Lebanon at 32 degrees. Uh, Reading, Berks County at 29, seeing 20s in both Lewistown and in Sealands Grove at this hour. On satellite, you can see that western edge of the clouds and it's quickly moving to the east, some thicker clouds back to our west. Not to say that we're going to go overcast, but yeah, we are going to see more clouds certainly than what we've seen so far this morning. And here's the cold front sitting back here into the Great Lakes. There's a lot of cold air packed behind this cold front. And as it sweeps through, there will be some noticeable changes for us as we go into t uh, tomorrow and especially going into the later parts of this week and the weekend. Hand over here in the background of the News 8 Storm Team forecast where clouds will be increasing throughout the rest of today. And we will see those highs climbing up right around mid 30s, pretty close to average for this time of the year, if not just a couple degrees below that. Into tonight, mostly cloudy skies and temperatures, again, near average, falling down to the mid 20s. And we're staying dry through the overnight. But as we head into tomorrow and tomorrow morning, we'll watch for some scattered snow showers to de develop as the cold front swings through. The winds will also pick up and it will turn quite blustery through the afternoon, especially tomorrow evening. Some wind gusts topping 35 miles per hour, certainly possible. And also, when you see a snow shower, not everybody will see them, but those that do could pick up a quick co coating, maybe a dusting of snow as that moves through. So, not a major storm system, but it will be bringing some changes for us as it moves closer to us. Into this evening, the clouds continue to get thicker, and then here comes that frontal system. It takes its time to get through, but finally scoots on through by tomorrow, late morning hours. So, a little bit of sunshine can be expected. But also the chance for a couple of those snow showers here and there. The winds really start to increase as the low pressure develops to our northeast. The high pressure squeezes that air over us, and we start to see those winds picking up and turning quite blustery even into early parts of Friday morning. The winds will start to die down a bit into Friday afternoon, but then there is another clipper system which could also give us more snow showers and another shot of very cold air into the region. There's actually three different shots of this cold air, and we'll break it down here on the upper upper air pattern going into tomorrow. So here's the first cold shot of air that we start to see tomorrow and going into parts of Friday. We get a bit of a break. Those temperatures rising up still quite chilly, though, heading into the later parts of Friday. And then on Saturday, Sunday, we're going to see really cold air for Valentine's Day and especially into Sunday morning. We could see talking about some wind chills below zero in uh, most places across the Commonwealth. We moderate once again before another cold shot comes down for the later part of this coming week. So in terms of the seven-day forecast, it's kind of active, but no real huge storms, at least not in the next three days. And then as we head into the weekend itself, it stays cold highs. 16 degrees on Sunday, lows in around 4 degrees. We'll also have some blustery winds to go along with that. So, yeah, wind chill will be a factor. And then on Tuesday, another storm system could give us a bit of a wintry mix. So, Valentine's Day this weekend, actually starting as early as Friday, going to be really cold stuff. Oh, boy. Going to have to snuggle up. And get right? those jackets ready <laughs> for right. sure. All right. Thanks,